Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Natsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab this shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? On track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. Or what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... We're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Nobody's gonna care what you're wearing. Just pretend you work in the industry or something. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps! I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son! Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> The praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, Take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth? Fiction? Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes. That's it. The Sayuri. 
That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? <sighs> Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd, so there's a good chance he won't recognize me. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey! Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <laughs> you mean it? My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. To receive an autograph from the great Ango Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense! Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma, Natsume-san? Of course! With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> Not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash, as though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayuri was painted by my mother. <laughs> This may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. They cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't... I merely spoke the truth. Now... Excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? So let's dribble? That little bastard. What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it, it's alright, Mr. Natsume. He's just, uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. <laughs> 